everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss about the ES6 features of JavaScript because you know uh, in JavaScript the ES6 version the ES6 is also called as the ES uh, some people call ES6 and some people call as ES uh, 2015 this is official uh, version is actually ES 2015 okay so this is actually a major version of JavaScript so here there are a lot of uh, features has been introduced in this uh, you know in this version onwards so there are other versions like ES 7 8 9 and ES up to 11 is there so we're going to discuss those features in the coming up videos but still uh, in the ES 6 is a major release and which contains a lot of uh, uh, changes happened in the, the the traditional JavaScript programming language so in this video i mean from this video for continuous i think uh, five six videos we are going to discuss the complete es6 features of javascript so what are the features which is given in the javascript es6 is the very first one is template strings okay so template string is nothing but uh, actually you will face some of the things which are already discussed because uh, we are using ES6 uh, version of JavaScript only in the throughout the series so uh, you may see some of the things already discussed but uh, we still uh, gonna concentrate on exactly what happened uh, in that ES6 feature okay uh, template string is actually called as this one this is uh, I think you know that it's, it's a backtick operator okay and next uh, we have uh, optional uh, we have optional parameters and uh, we have uh, arrow functions and uh, we have another another feature is called um, yeah for off loops okay and there is a feature called destructuring concept destructuring concept and there is a feature called spread spread operator and we also have classes collections and all those uh, fine so let's start with uh, these features so in this video we're going to start about template strings or backtick operator okay so for this i just create a folder structure um, i'll just copy the folder i paste it I just say in this state 26 underscore js underscore es6 features and let me change this yes 6 features and this is gonna be the yes six features and let me open that in a browser once um yeah not scopes uh features oh 26 already there now then oh, oh oh sorry sorry it should be a 27 uh you can refactor rename uh 27 okay so refresh yeah um fine okay so now let's start with uh, the very first feature of uh, es6 is going to be the template string or the backtick operator so well, let's see what is that uh, here uh, what is actually template string is the backtick operator so this is actually introduced to replace the string concatenation operator of the earlier version of JavaScript. So why it has to replace and what's the benefit of replacing the string concatenation operator called uh, plus? Because uh, suppose when you want to create, uh, so generally in the concept called DOM manipulation, uh, you may have to create uh, uh, the HTML templates from JavaScript, right? So based on the certain logic, of certain processing logic, uh, you may have to create uh, a javascript template from the javascript itself okay i mean sorry html template uh, the html source code some um, uh, bit of template you're going to create from javascript itself and then that you're going to be inject to the html elements so 
in the java c program the process of creating the html template using this the plus symbol it is slight complex process so that can be simplified using this template string so let's see how it is suppose i have let um mobile okay and here i have mobile object we have brand uh, apple and uh, color silver and the uh, price is going to be some 35000 okay now i just want to print this data uh, in a console log okay uh, like brand value what color value what price value is what so i just want to print this data so generally uh, without uh, backtick operator without template string what you used to do earlier version of uh, at least up to es5 is let's say let uh some message is equal to uh you may write like this now uh, you may write brand colon it's a dynamic value you write plus mobile dot brand and then plus some space color so plus you may write uh, mobile dot color and then you write again some space so price plus mobile dot price so you're going to write in this format and up to es5 version and you may write a console.log of message so you get the answer as brand color and price so yes you get a proper data now i don't want to use these many plus symbols i want to use a template so using template saying how it's possible is so let's message 1 is equal to you use uh not single code this is single quotes not that one back tick this is back tick so the key before you are uh, the 1 to 3 4 numbers before one uh, you have it uh, here let's say brand so any dynamic value you want to write inside you have to write like this okay so mobile dot brand like this and color i write mobile dot color and then price i going to write mobile dot price okay that's is quite simple and you can just say console dot log of message 1 so you get the answer as exactly same so this is one example where you can use a backtick operator but if you want to construct any html template that is very best and you know most useful thing is template string so let's see what is that suppose i want to construct this thing inside i mean i want to make this as a html template uh, how i is we i want to do is i want to convert this like all list items so generally uh, let template 1 is equal to uh, without a uh, uh, backtick what you do is you write like this ul tag and then slash ul you want to construct in this way plus um next uh, here uh, if you want to add li tag you just write li and uh, here again plus again here this is a plus here plus in between you want to add something that's uh, mobile dot brand okay so in that way let's let's do a copy paste it's its color and its its price okay so in this way you're going to construct the html template without using a template string just by using string concatenation operator so it's is quite complex because you have to write multiple plus symbols like this uh, it is you know complex we, we made a very small snippet but still we have this many plus symbol but you just imagine you are writing uh, the whole uh, table code and or the card you want to design from java sip thing uh, is slight complex right um the same thing if you want to design from uh, template string is let's say template 2 is equal to just write a backtick and no plus required you just write a ul and the slash ul so no plus symbols required so here you write uh, li directly but only thing is any dynamic you have to write it like this mobile dot color and the same way like this mobile dot 
sorry first uh, brand color and the price okay so this way you got right see it's slight uh, it's it's very you know simplest way than this one so this is actually the place where uh, we're going to use the template strings okay so this is very best uh, i mean it's a super uh, es6 feature okay fine so this is about es6 feature template string and so let's see the optional parameters in the next video thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video thank you mm -hmm.